60 years ago, he bought a deserted island for $13,000. He moved there and never came back. Brandon Grimshaw was an editor at a newspaper in London. Like many people, he spent most of his time working and dreaming of a better life. But something happened that would change his life forever. One evening at a work event, a young boy joked with Brandon asking if he'd ever live on a deserted island. Brandon laughed and said, why not? But later that night, he couldn't stop thinking about it. He realized that at nearly 40, there wasn't much holding him back. He was single, hadn't bought his own home, and felt ready for a big change. So Brandon did something bold. He quit his job, left his friends, and started searching for a small island he could call his own. Soon, he found a tiny, overgrown island called Moyen in the Seychelles. With all the money he'd saved for years, he bought it. When Brandon first arrived, Moyen was wild and covered in thick bushes. No people had lived there for a long time. Brandon saw beauty and possibility. He set up a simple wooden house and began to make the island livable. Brandon worked tirelessly, clearing paths and planting trees. In time, he found a friend and helper, Rene LaFortune, who joined him on his mission. Together, they planted over 6,000 trees, creating a paradise that many birds, turtles, and other animals began to call home. Birds flew in from nearby islands and made the island their nesting place. Thanks to Brandon and Renee, endangered giant turtles also found a safe home there. In just a few years, the island was bursting with life. Years later, a prince from Saudi Arabia offered Brandon $50 million to buy the island. He wanted to turn it into a resort for the rich, but Brandon refused. He said, I'd rather see this island as a national park that everyone can enjoy. Brandon's dream came true. The island became a national park open to visitors for brief tours. People could see the trees, birds, and turtles he worked so hard to protect. The entrance fees helped keep the island beautiful and natural. When asked if he ever felt lonely, Brandon replied, I felt lonelier when I lived in London. His island was his true home, filled with the peace he had always dreamed of. Brandon lived happily on his island until he passed away in 2012.